Okay, here we're on uh, pretty well in the middle of the exploration claim for the seismic for Wolverine, very large geo size company. And uh, well, I'll show you how they do the uh, seismic operation. What we have here is the exact location where the helicopter drops the seismic equipment off to allow the crew to set up the geophones on the ground to pick up the seismic shock waves that come back from the dynamite explosion. What this does is it picks up the reflective sound waves that go down through the earth many thousands of feet and by doing this over a large area they're able to map out the actual geophysical characteristics of the soil. These are the detonator cords for the an explosion or the dynamite that they have in the ground. Once the uh, uh, drillers come in, put the hole, they put the dynamite in and they get ready to shoot a uh, large explosion, probably five, about five pounds of dynamite is what they use to create the shock waves and the sound waves to go down through the earth. I'm surrounded by geophysical phones and these phones are implanted into the ground to pick up the seismic waves. Now each one of these phones are connected by miles and miles of cable to a recording shack. And the recording shack gathers all the data to be overlaid over multiple, multiple computer programs to give them their underground mapping. And by this method we'll determine where they put an oil rig to drill for oil or natural gas. Then that's where our part comes in. What we have is the equipment that we have here, the recording, all the batteries, all the connectors that they use to gather this data is put back into a canvas bag that we use and we come in to pick up. On the long line location, the day starts really early for the mechanic. There are two ways to jettison the long line from the helicopter. One is the foot-operated mechanical jettison mechanism, and then there's electrically activated servo. And, and what that does is that gives the pilot two methods. If you're flying and you get hooked the long line, he can kick it off with his foot, or he can jettison it electri electrically. After the two checks have been done on the belly, the mechanic will go to the long line and check all the cables that go out the long line. When he gets out to the bucket, the mechanic will go number one, which is the, the electrical release, and you check to see that the mechanical release lets go when the pilot tells you, essentially. The mechanic's job is just as important as the pilot's job. It's the most dangerous work we do with helicopters. With this system, the cone is set up with this specific device for that system. The bag runner, it's called, will come down and the pilot on the long line will gently place the bag runner on top of it. It automatically grabs that and then lifts the cone up. And we're able to return this bag back to the service area. And once it gets to the service area, that is where they replenish the bags with new equipment new batteries, and troubleshoot. And once they have replenished that bag, we are now able to fly it back out to the field for the line. Yesterday we flew about seven and a half flight hours um, distributing and picking up these bags.